Hello, it is 6.06 p.m. the 2nd of January. Um, I feel bad, but I should admit it. I don't want to say on YouTube because it makes me look like a bad person. So I accidentally fell asleep for like a bit um, uh, before 3. You know, took a nap. And then I forgot that I was supposed to meet Grady, you know, at 3. You know, and then what do you know? My old dog was like four, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" So I went downstairs, and there he was sitting. He wasn't alone though, but he was just sitting with other people. I'm just like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, Grady." And then he was like, "Oh, it's okay. I moved the play date." I'm just like, oh. "But now tomorrow at one is the time, and then at three we're gonna play um, ping pong, which should be nice." Um, I just let's see what I did. Uh, what girl went on stage? Talked to Grady. Went around to find the reporter girl, who's Sophie. Uh, he likes to call her the reporter. Uh, she's oh yeah, sad story. So, anyways, uh, that was that happened. We we saw uh, the reporter was actually at Grady's house, and we were just roaming around the point. She was waiting for us, and we were looking for them. We were looking for her. So the dance we just like perfectly missed each other. But then we found her in the in her house, in Grady's house, and then Grady said bye. Um, and then me and the reporter talked for an hour, just out of random stuff. Um, funny story, she said. Um, she, she speaks English. She's from New Zealand, um, IB school. Um, graduated with a 42, Sophie. And then, so we took a picture, and then her face was just to have put a picture online, because, like, I, I took no pictures this trip. Um, but, oh, so sad to see her leave. You know, it's just like, I just like going downstairs and seeing someone else there. And she's, like, the opposite. And, like, she's really outgoing, like... If I see tourists, she says hi. Like, are you here to like tour? Do you want me to tour you? Like, she's really outgoing. Like, I don't like saying hi to strangers first. But so that happened. Um, it's sad that she left. You know, it's like it just hit me today, and I didn't want her to leave like badly. And it's so sad to see her leave, love and be hugged and everything. Um, so sad. Um, but she left, and then she. Told me funny story. She first of all said that she's so she's a translator for the hospital, uh, and she's all like, uh, that's apparently the names are really mean to Dr. Moody, who's the head doctor in the hospital, this man's house, um, because she would translate some things like Dr. Apparently it's a bit drama going on. Like Dr. Moody would say, "Hey, can I see the kids?" and the people would say, "Like, no, 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 go away." You know, it's like I'm like, wait, that's that's not drama. That's just really mean. And she's like, yeah, but I mean, oh well. And I'm like, what? And apparently, sometimes when she translates, she would like be confused about what they're saying. Like she would say, like they would say something like, oh yeah, it gets to don't see. Like they they would want something very specific with like its own name, so you can't really translate it. And then they would say, why wow, is a bad translator? I'm just like, wow, the nannies must just hate you, Sophie. Like, oh my god. Let's just tell me funny stories about how she's because I was talking about cooking. It's like, oh. Funny is about the first time I cooked. So apparently, the first time she cooked, you know, she was frying egg, and then also the kitchen's on fire. And the way she said it, she was like, "It catches on fire." But luckily, there are people making out by me. I'm just like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, there are people making out in the pantry." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> so apparently, there was a room, right? She was here cooking, and there's people on a sofa on the other side. It's it's a room. It was like for the whole hallway in college, and then there was these people making out. And also, when it turned on fire, she said, "Oh, but luckily the man was there to like, do something because he has to." I'm just like, "Whoa, excuse me." And she's like, <laughs> "Like she she felt embarrassed." She's like, "No, no, no." I mean, like he had to. I mean, he's he's a guy there. I'm like, so what if the guy like, whoa, whoa, it's not just a guy. So apparently, um, she she got the um the pan on fire like the whole thing on fire and then she starts to scream and the people making out the girl noticed who was making out and she was like starts to scream and the guy's just like fuck and he's like did it <laughs> but she's it was just really sexist how she said it's just like oh well, obviously then the man has to do it. i'm like wait come on man the girls can do it. it's just like no 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 the guy had like so face she's like oh no i don't mean like that so that was nice um this talking about another story was how she there's a steamer and she had buns inside and she put it in the oven and then she forgot it. And when she didn't put it up and started, she just you know, she just started to steam it and then she forgot it there. So here she is doing homework and all of a sudden she smells burnt plastic and she's like, Where's that smell coming from? So she sniffs it out all the way to the kitchen and all of a sudden it hits her. That's the steamer there. Oh fuck, that's my steamer. So apparently the, for the steamer, the, all the water disappears, so it's just like burning and the size, the plastic size, like melted down so it's like oh how does it even work you know like my god well those are the two stories she told me um i miss her already even though she just left like two minutes ago like literally two minutes ago but um <coughs> 
Oh, she'd be nice. She was really fun. She was a really good person to have here, you know. It's just like, ah, oh, man, I feel bad that she left. Now it's just me and I wake up and it's Friday and Friday. I don't know what I'm gonna do there on the Saturday and leave. Not even Saturday, just Friday night I leave. Yeah, why do I keep saying Saturday? Fuck. Well, I'm gonna come home soon, at least. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like doing this trip has made me a refreshed person. I'm refreshed, you know? It's nice to get out, you know? Um, I'm not what most people think, like, touched by you. It's not like, it's not really that, like, you know, I think it was like one of my videos when I first saw the kids, I was really touched by it, but then I'm like, it's not that cheesy. They just like, oh, prisoners and orphans to help them come back, like, a whole new person, like, new life and everything. Like, oh, I'm a, I'm a Christian now. Sorry, that's what, oh, yeah. So when I was talking to Gideon yesterday, he was trying to convert me. <laughs> He's so religious and he was like, oh, no, no, you see, God wants you to do this, Kevin. He wants you to love God. I'm just like, wait, we're talking about colleges here. You're not converting me. No, 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 hold up, here. hold up. <laughs> so, and then when I said that, I'm a person who believes in God, but not necessarily Christ himself. I'm like, you know, like, I believe in a God, but just not, I'm not religion based. I'm not in a religion. I don't read the books. Um, he said, oh, that's okay, you know, because, you know, you're too young right now, you don't understand, and it's like, <laughs> like, hold up there, Gideon, you know, I think you're great and all, but, whoa, so there's him, um, apparently Saban, every time I call her Saban, that one orphan, it's not Saban, it's Shelby, but she just said her name wrong, and I think it's Saban, it's actually Shelby, <laughs> and I looked it up on my list, I, after I had the list, I was like, oh, Shelby, whoa, so, there's that, and then, yeah, I do feel refreshed, I don't feel touched, like, oh my god, I'm a new person, I feel refreshed, I like helping out these old kids. they're really nice, um, to be totally honest, I'm not sure if I like, I keep, you see, one of the things I want to do is just do a 9 to 5 job in a cubicle, and a lot of people are like, ew, that's boring, but then for me, it's just the fact that I get to, like, do something concrete, which is really easy, like, <clears throat> like, whatever, um, Chrissy asked me to do those uh, sponsorship things. I love doing them because they're so easy. It's just like, but it's not like even the easiest. Like I had to run, you know, get the signatures. But it's like, I just like the job, you know? Just, I just like having a job. So actually, I do like doing that a bit more than playing the orphans. The playing the orphans is nice, though. It said, you know, I kind of want to go to the house of love anymore, which is where Grady is because that, that test girl who keeps hitting all the other kids whenever like, someone gets near me, I'm just like, the House of Blessing is nice. The House of Blessing. Oh, I'm gonna visit the House of Blessing tomorrow. Okay, because that's the one with the three new kids. Then we saw him today because um, Sophie wanted to say goodbye to him. And then we saw I saw Sushi um, again, which is Sean, or which is that really shy kid that when he smiles, and then he seemed a lot more better. Like he, like when I said bye, Sushi, he was like he said bye. Like he, he, he smiled. Oh my God, he's the best kid. Like, it, oh, he's so cute. Like he's so. I don't know, he's like, he's so shy, but like, you just know that, like, when he smiles, he's the happiest fucking kid ever. It's like, if you can make him smile, it just feels, I don't know, it's like, it's like he's really shy, but then when you make him smile, you, it's like, you care for him. It's like, oh, I just made him not feel as shy. Like, I, I, I've made him feel happy and feel accomplished. Like, okay, that's what makes him sound like a goal, but, like, it's really nice. Like, he's a really good kid. He's so, I want to see him. And then, of course, Robert or Henry. Uh, I mean, Robert Howard. I don't remember the name. I can't ever remember if it was Robert or if it was Howard. And this is the House of Blessing. Um, okay, so there's Robert and Howard. Which one is the... Okay, so it's Robert. Yeah, Robert. You know, he saw him again. And uh, everybody sees him. He's just so smart. When I saw him today, he was eating. But his arm couldn't really reach it. But he's so, it's like, when you see a disabled kid like him, physically disabled, like, you think, like, he's just, like, he doesn't get it, but, like, he does. Like, he, when he was eating, right, a bit of his soup got on his leg that he can't move. And then he, he like, put it down, grabbed a tissue, and it like, started to blot it out. And when the tissue was finished, he's like, hey, can't throw this away? I'm like, oh, where is it? He's, like, pointed at Galen. He said, do you want another tissue? Uh, uh, he asked 
Cam does. He just said, yeah, so I gave him the one. And I like, kept blotting on his leg. And it's just, I know it sounds really normal, but it's just interesting to see how, like, even though he doesn't feel or anything, he's, he knows that he's disabled and he knows how to take care of himself. Like, it's weird just seeing him, like, get, get the soup off his leg because of the fact that, like, he can't move it. It's almost like a different thing of him, but still him. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's like, he's smart and like, he knows how to take care of himself. He's so smart. I swear. Also, when I went there, they all offered me food. Not, when I said they, I don't mean the nannies, I meant the kids. Robert, I was like, oh, here, have some food. I'm like, no, thank you. No, thank you. In my mind, I just kept thinking, you called me Pong uh, I'm the big brother to you. Big, mean, big, big, in every sense, big. So, um, yes, I'm gonna have to eat dinner today, like here. So, let's. Open this. Dinner, sausage, and ramen again. I feel bad. I'm gonna run. I have too much ramen, but not enough sausages. I don't want these sausages. They're nice. So I'm probably gonna do that. Chill for a bit, you know. Um, other than that, that's it. I gotta make food. I'm hungry. It's only 6 p.m. What else do I do? Love you guys. And have a great New Year's because it's still New Year's for you guys. Just kidding. It's 5 at 18 a.m. for you guys. Second. Happy after New Year's. Love you guys. Bye.